Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, thanks for tuning in and welcome back. Round number five is here and a new challenger approaches. Jacob joins the battle this evening and has all kinds of tricks up his sleeve. Will he be able to walk into a blind meta and pull out a win? Stay tuned and we will find out. Let's start off by showcasing our fighters this evening. First, we have Jacob, piloting Naru Meha, Master Wizard. Control is the name of the game and this infinite combo deck can win at instant speed. Jacob is shuffled up and ready to fight. Next, we have Ryan, bringing back Yisan, the Wanderer Bard. Yisan tutors up creatures onto the battlefield and beats his opponents with combat. Ryan tuned up this deck and wants another win with Yisan. After that, we have Dawn, bringing back Animar, Soul of Elements. Animar creates infinite combos of his own and can win out of nowhere. Dawn tuned up his deck as well and wants to show what it can do. Finally, we have Mike, piloting the four-color pairing of Timna the Weaver and Tana the Bloodsower. This version of Blood Pod aims to control the board and shut down their opponents until they are ready for a combo finish. This deck is outside of Mike's comfort zone, but he always welcomes a challenge. Without further ado, let's kick off this exciting escapade of extreme eradication of each of our enemies. Mike wins a staring contest and gets a start us off. Mike plays a Bayou for turn. He casts an Imperial Seal. He fetches up a card on top of his library and loses two life. He passes the turn. Ryan plays a Forest for turn. He casts Exploration. He plays his second Forest for turn and then casts Llanowar Elves. After that, he passes. Don plays a Stomping Ground, into play tapped, and ends his turn. Jacob plays an Island and casts Portent. He looks at and arranges the top three of his library and ships the turn over to Mike. Mike plays a Wooded Foothills for turn. He cracks it to find a Savannah. After that, he casts Dark Confidant. All wrapped up, he passes. On his turn, Ryan casts a Mana Crypt. After that, Yisan the Wanderer Bard hits the table. He then casts Sensei's Divining Top and passes the turn to Dawn. Dawn plays a Flooded Strand for turn. He cracks it to find a Tropical Island. Afterward, he casts Coiling Oracle. He reveals a Deadeye Navigator off the Coiling Oracle and then ends his turn. Jacob plays an Island for turn and then casts Jace, Friend's Prodigy. He passes. Mike reveals a Felidar Guardian through his Dark Confidant on his upkeep. He plays a Polluted Delta. After that, he passes. At the end of Mike's turn, Ryan activates his Sensei's Divining Top. Ryan loses his Mana Crypt trigger on his upkeep and loses 3 life. He plays a Forest and decides to pass to Dawn. Dawn plays a Gaia's Cradle for turn. After that, he casts Animar, Soul of Elements. With nothing else, he ships the turn over to Jacob. Jacob plays an Island for turn. Then he casts Ristic Study. A light groan is heard from around the table and Jacob ends his turn. At the end of Jacob's turn, Mike cracks his Polluted Delta to fetch up a Badlands. Mike reveals a Llanowar Elves through his Dark Confidant on his upkeep. He plays a Verdant Catacombs. He casts his newly revealed Llanowar Elves and passes the turn. At the end of Mike's turn, Ryan activates Yisa on the Wanderer Bard for one. Mike responds by cracking his Verdant Catacombs to fetch up a forest. Mike then flashes an Avon Mind Sensor. Dismayed, Ryan only searches the top four of his library. But as luck would have it, he actually finds what he's looking for, which is Aquarian Ranger. He activates Quirion Ranger's ability to untap Yisan and activate him again. He searches the top four of his library for a two drop. Unfortunately, his luck runs out and does not find a two drop and shuffles his library. Ryan loses his Mana Crypt trigger on his upkeep and loses three life. He also activates his top during his upkeep to smooth out his draw. He plays a Forest for turn and passes. Dawn plays an Island for turn. He casts a Wall of Blossoms, paying the study tax and drawing a card. After that, he casts Phyrexian Metamorph, paying the tax again. He has it enter the battlefield as a copy of Dark Confidant. He attacks Mike with his Animar and Coilin Oracle and wraps up his turn. At the end of Dawn's turn, Jacob activates Jace to draw a card and discard a card. Jacob plays an Island for turn. He then casts Everflowing Chalice, kicked once. After that, he pays two life and casts Jetaxian Probe, targeting Mike. He looks at Mike's hand and draws a card. After that, he casts a Mind Stone. With nothing else, he passes to Mike. On his upkeep, Mike reveals an Arbor Elf through his Dark Confidant. He plays a Reflecting Pool. He attempts to cast Birthing Pod. Jacob responds by casting Delay. Birthing Pod exiles with three time counters on it. After that, Mike casts an Arbor Elf and passes the turn. At the end of Mike's turn, Ryan activates his Sensei's Divining Top. Ryan loses his Mana Crypt trigger on his upkeep and loses three life. He plays a Nykthos, Shrine to Nyx. He attempts to cast Regal Force but Jacob is ready and counters it with a Pact of Negation. With nothing else, the spell is countered and Ryan ends his turn. During his upkeep, Don reveals an Ancient Ziggurat through his Dark Confidant. He plays his newly acquired Ancient Ziggurat. He then casts Deadeye Navigator, paying the Ristic Tax. When Deadeye enters, he pairs it with Coiling Oracle. He activates the Deadeye ability to flicker Coiling Oracle. 
His coiling oracle enters and reveals an eternal witness. Afterward, he attacks Mike with Animar. Mike blocks with his Arbor Elf, and Dawn passes the turn. At the end of Dawn's turn, Jacob activates Jace, drawing and discarding, and then transforming. Jacob pays his pack trigger on his upkeep. He plays an island for turn, and then upticks Jace to give Animar negative two, negative zero. After that, he passes. On his upkeep, Mike reveals a Spire Garden through his Dark Confidant. He plays his Spire Garden. He then casts Timna the Weaver. He attacks Dawn with his Avon Mind Sensor. In his second main phase, he pays a life and draws a card off of Timna's ability. After that, he casts a Luminarch Ascension and passes the turn. Ryan loses his Mana Crypt Trigger AGAIN during his upkeep and loses 3 life. He plays a Dryad Arbor for turn. He casts a Phyrexian Revoker, paying the Rhystic Tax. As it enters, he names Deadeye Navigator. After that, he casts Staff of Domination, again paying the Rhystic Tax. Jacob responds by casting a Mana Drain, targeting the Staff. With that, the Staff gets countered and Ryan passes his turn to Dawn. During his upkeep, Dawn reveals a Shrieking Drake off of his Dark Confidant. He casts the Shrieking Drake, paying the Rhystic Tax. Jacob responds by paying 2 life and casting Mental Misstep, and the spell is countered. Next, Dawn casts Bloodbraid Elf, paying the tax again. He cascades into an Arbor Elf and casts it without paying its mana cost, but does pay the Rhystic Tax. After that, he sinks 8 into a Walking Ballista, entering with 4 counters on it. He uses up all the counters to shoot and kill Yisan the Wanderer Bard and Phyrexian Revoker. After that, he flickers his Coiling Oracle. The Oracle reveals a Perforos, God of the Forge this time. He attacks Jacob for 8 and Jace for 6, killing it. All finished up, he passes. Jacob plays a Serum Visions for turn, drawing and scrying 2. He then plays a Flooded Strand. He casts a Preordain, scrying and drawing. After that, he casts Evacuation. Ryan responds by activating Query and Ranger to untap his Land of War Elves. He taps his Elves to activate his Sensei's Divining Top. After that, Evacuation resolves, and all the creatures bounce to their owner's hands. Afterward, Jacob cracks his Flooded Strand to fetch up an island, and then he passes his turn to Mike. Mike plays an Overgrown Tomb, into play untapped, taking two life. After that, he casts three ball, <coughs> Trinisphere, and pays the Rhystic Tax. He recasts his Avon Mind Sensor, and then gives the turn over to Ryan. Ryan plays his Dryad Arbor again for turn. He plays Atlantawar Elves for 3 because of Trinisphere and pays the Rhystic Tax, bringing the total for the Elf to 4 mana. Ouch. After that, he sighs deeply, then passes. Dawn plays a Cavern of Souls, naming Elemental. He then casts Perforos. Jacob responds by casting Counterspell, targeting the God. Perforos gets countered, and Dawn passes. Jacob plays an Island for turn. He then casts Time War. He holds priority and flashes in Naru Meha. Master Wizard. Ryan responds by activating his top. Naru resolves, targeting Time Warp. With nothing else, he passes the turn to himself. On his extra turn, Jacob plays a Hieroglyphic Lumination, drawing two cards. He then casts Ponder, digging into his library. He plays a Sunscorched Desert, targeting Mike. He casts a Sapphire Medallion and passes the turn to himself again. On Jacob's third turn, he draws a card, doesn't find what he's looking for, and passes the turn to Mike. During Mike's upkeep, Birthing Pod's delay triggers expire, and Mike casts it for 3, due to Trinosphere. He plays an Exotic Orchard for turn. He attacks Jacob for 2 with his Avon Mind Sensor, and then passes his turn over to Ryan. Ryan plays a Forest for turn. He pays 3 for Quirion Ranger, and pays the Rhystic Tax. He then casts Seeker of Skybreak for 3, and pays the tax again. After that, he ends his turn. On his turn, Dawn casts Animar, paying the Rhystic Tax. He plays an Opal Palace. After that, he casts Arbor Elf paying the Rhystic Tax again. After that, he passes. At the end of Dawn's turn, Jacob casts Chain of Vapor, targeting his Naru Meha. He then casts Illusionist Stratagem. He holds priority and casts Naru Meha, targeting the Stratagem. He begins a loop that allows him to draw all but the last card of his deck, and stops. On Jacob's turn, he casts a Laboratory Maniac, and then follows it up with a pull from tomorrow. Ladies and gentlemen, Jacob has done it coming in out of nowhere and winning his first match. He effectively kept the board under control and waited for the right time to strike for a combo finish. Jacob is a new force to be reckoned with, and Ryan, Mike, and Dawn won a rematch. Stay tuned until next time when we see these four duke it out to see who is king of the competitive EDH table. Thank you so much for watching, and we will see you next time.